up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is Kay Rache and today I'm bringing you guys my affordable skincare routine now these are all of my skincare secrets my go-to products and the things that you need to be put on game and it's affordable you don't have to go out and splurge you can get these products for super cheap from Walmart Amazon Ulta and I'm gonna give you guys a lot of variety of products as well first things first pop in the shower and this is my full blown routine now I don't do this every single day this is like a day where I will shave I personally just do not grow hair that fast and I know a lot of girls do shave daily and it's part of their daily routine but personally I just don't need to do that so this routine is like my every I probably only shave like once a week the shaving cream that I used in this video is actually a very affordable option this is the equate which I believe is a Walmart brand generic shaving cream honestly it's usually probably best to go for things that don't have a scent to it as you guys can see I have a theme here this is actually my shower routine right before my 21st birthday party so I want to feel really pampered everything's super pink this isn't necessarily my go-to it's the only thing that they just had available I usually go for the Lee brand the pink can I'll pop it up on the screen also after I rinse it off just to get any initial dirt off of the skin go ahead and lather up the shaving cream on my skin and then we will shave accordingly another thing that i've just recently gotten into because of tiktok of course is a moisturizing shaving oil the one that i recommend is the tree hut bear watermelon one they have many different scents i love it so far it gets a very close shave you don't feel like it's pulling or tugging on the hairs or on your skin and it just gets the skin really nice and nourished so i would suggest that as well like i said you're just gonna lather up and go ahead and get to shaving the razors that I use are the joy razors that are reusable and then you just get the refillable blades the razor itself goes for about ten dollars at Walmart or CVS Walgreens anywhere you can get your body care it comes with two initially and then I usually just get the four razor head refill run for about eight dollars per refill and the razors themselves are just the best that I've ever tried when it comes to shaving, exfoliate right after. When I was a little younger, I didn't know the importance of this step and that's why you get a lot of ingrown hairs or like strawberry legs. I don't know the necessary terminology of why it does it, but it's just, you need to exfoliate after you shave. The ones that have been trending are the ones that I have in this video. I personally use in the video, the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and the Moroccan Rose. Like I said once again I grabbed it because it was pink but also because it's trendy a lot of people talked about it I actually really like the body scrub this one is a more abrasive one so if you don't like anything too harsh you might want to stem away from this but I also grabbed another tree hut one which is the watermelon one and I really like this one it's a little softer as far as the exfoliation goes and it's a lot more moisturizing what I notice like drying on the skin at all but I just noticed that this one just has more of a rich moisture but my actual go-to and this is an exfoliant that I use almost daily not just after shaving and this is the Dove exfoliating body polish I usually get the pomegranate seed one this one's also very moisturizing it has like a light lather almost but I really like it it's a little more gentle so it's not too harsh on the skin this one I really like for day-to-day -day use a lot of people recommend this and I personally do my Myself, and I think that this runs for about five bucks so it's very inexpensive a little goes a long way and it smells good it feels good and you feel like you're really pampering yourself using this as you should because it's a really nice product moving on we're gonna get into some body washes now personally I have sensitive skin and, and now when I'm talking about this you guys are probably gonna think girl you're using all of these products on your skin what about this step has to be so special that you have to use something different but in this routine I did use a shower gel I don't necessarily recommend personally I don't really go to shower gels that often just because I feel like I can do without 
I feel like the scents don't last that long, so I don't usually gravitate towards them. But when I do, occasionally I'll use a Bath & Body Works shower gel once every blue moon, once every month to, you know, have that experience. Of course, I'm a girl. I love that stuff, but personally, I can just do without. I usually go for a Dove body wash, the ones that are in the bottle, or I will use the bar soap of Dove. I really like Dove products for my sensitive skin. I'll either use the original one or they have non-scented, and I also believe that they have sensitive skin ones. I believe that there's two different variants, and I will use those, and I've been using those for years, and they have really helped on my skin. I also have eczema, and some body washes will really dry out your skin, so I just find that those have the perfect hydration they get the skin feeling clean and they work for my skin i just have no reaction to them moving on into the next step what i will do is obviously after we use the body wash we shower up i am going to go into my olay body conditioner and i love this my girl Aaliyah's face put me on game to this it's super inexpensive super affordable and it feels so good it feels so good on the skin i can't even explain to you how good it feels you just have to go out and buy it and try it i have never gotten out the shower feeling so like nourished and just like replenished and this product will do it to you so it takes a little bit to go over the skin you just need to put it on literally like it's lotion i know it'll feel weird because it actually feels like lotion putting on lotion in the shower while you're wet is just like unheard of but this body conditioner will change your life it's literally game changing and you will get out of the shower if you're ever in a rush and you don't have time to put on lotion do this while you're in the shower and i promise you you will not come out the shower ashy now i do personally put on lotion after i put this on but it's good to know and it has shea butter in it and it's just really nice on the skin they also have different varieties the only downside about this product is that it is so small so i feel like i have to go and buy one every two Two weeks but it's affordable so it's not like breaking your pockets at all but Olay if you are out there please make a bigger bottle of this because we need more it's so good one thing that I did forget to talk about and go over is the Punan area. Everyone's Punan is very sensitive and I know this is kind of a touchy subject for some people. It is what it is. Watch what you put down there. Don't listen to what everyone says about what they use down there because sometimes it's just not the best. I feel like it's best for you to do your research and do whatever. Personally, I do occasionally, much like I do with the shower gels every now and again like i am a girl i like to feel and smell good but those products that are made to make your punan smell and have a certain scent are not very good for your punan so either don't use it or use it very sparingly and i say this to say i do have a summer's eve product that i use it is just the five in one wash it gets the girl smelling good every now and again i like to use it but i would say i use this probably four times a year very sparingly um, Another thing that people suggest is the Dr. Bronner's, which I love. I personally do. I love the blue Dr. Bronner's, the peppermint one, to wash my face and to cleanse my body, but never to put directly in the vaginal area. It's way too harsh. It's way too concentrated, and it will mess your girl up. So stay away from those harsh products. Keep it simple. The more simple is the better. Make sure you know what works for you. Not everything works for everyone. Be mindful of that. Be mindful of how you are smelling, ladies. Let's take care of ourselves and our hygiene. But typically, I just use my bar soap in that area just to keep it safe. And yeah, moving on to a few out of the shower products and then we're going to wrap it up. I used in the video the Jergens Skin Smoothie. Now, I'm going to be honest. I literally bought this for the purpose of the video once again because it's pink. But when I tell you when I tried this, it was so nourishing normally i do use the vaseline mix lotion and i will lather that up on my skin and feel great but this was the first time that i tried this and i love it it's so thick but it's not 
oily or greasy on the skin it just feels so hydrating the smell lasts this is actually like a pink grapefruit scent and it smells so good it's super affordable i think i got this for like four dollars so i do definitely suggest going out to try this but if you like to keep it a little more simple use the vaseline lotion combo mix and i'll pop the products that i am recommending up on the screen as i speak because i know it's kind of hard to keep up deodorants but that is also something that you need to be very mindful of perfume will not do it ladies you need to make sure that you are putting on deodorant fresh out the shower if you give your skin or your body just a little too long to perspire you will start to smell and you will have to wash again just putting deodorant on top of that that will not mask the odor and then i'll pre spray on some perfume get dressed and head out the door one more thing that i want to talk about really fast is my loof loofahs are very affordable and there's also alternatives i'll pop a few up on the screen but you can get a loofah from walmart for like 98 cents probably even less and there's like the skincare rags also that are pretty trendy right now that are on amazon and you can get packs of those the one thing that i would like to advise you on is i don't think people change their loofahs as often as they should and i might actually personally change mine a little too often but i I usually don't go past a week with using the same loofah. I treat it like it's a washcloth. I don't go past a week with using the same washcloth, so I will switch out my loofah accordingly. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope I informed you guys with my little bit of knowledge that I've gained in my 21 years of life. This is just what I've been put on to and it's worked for me. It keeps my skin really nice and soft. I've seen some changes in my eczema and my dryness of my skin and it's just game changing. So I suggest you go out and try some of these affordable products. That's pretty much it. I've been talking for way too long but I love you guys. I hope this was exactly what you needed to get your pamper routine in check and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.